All right, let's do a beer of the weekend video. It's been a minute since we've done one. Um, I think the last one we did was actually with this truck. I think we were starting the taking out of the old motor. So, um, we'll start with the truck. Okay, we haven't done a video of the truck for a while. I was trying to get it done. I was trying to get the motor and the transmission bolted together for the last time and in the truck. And I ran into some complications. So something's wrong with the transmission. It won't spin over and spin over and spin over. So I put the torque converter on there and it'll do 359 degrees and stop. Do it 359 degrees the other way and stop. So something was either already messed up with it or I messed something up during the unbolting and bolting and unbolting, etc. So I've either got to get that fixed or get a different transmission. I haven't decided yet. Okay. Do I want to spend some money and repair and beef up the 4L60E? Or I can spend $700 and get a 4L70E, which is slightly better, and get going back on this. So, for right now, I got the motor sitting in here looking pretty. It looks pretty good. I'll give you an overview of it uh, afterwards. So, that's where we're at on the truck. Okay, last video you saw, we were doing disc golf. We put up three baskets. Um, since then, We've included three more baskets. Um, so I've got six baskets total. And the way you play it gives you ten holes. So I've got a ten hole disc golf course. It's pretty fun. It's a short little course. doesn't take long to get through. Some of it's out in the open in the fields. And some of it's in the woods. So a little bit of variety but not too long of shots. Uh, pretty good for adults and kids to play in my opinion so we may come back later and show you some of that all right beer of the weekend we haven't done beer of the weekend i honestly haven't been drinking craft beers very much i've been drinking mostly yinglings all right just because of convenience so the store between me and work where i normally get my craft brew they quit doing mix and match packs so you just gotta buy a whole case of whatever. So for me to get a mix and match, I've gotta go out of my way uh, through some traffic and whatever to get it. So due to convenience wise, I haven't been doing it. So Stephanie went to Trader Joe's today and actually got me a six pack of uh, six different beers. So we're gonna try one today. What do we have? Without further ado, let's get this beer of the weekend on the road. We've got Lovebird from Jackalope Brewing Company in Nashville, Tennessee. I don't think I've had anything from them. Okay, I looked it up on the internet. It wasn't a whole lot. On there let me go ahead and read it I have a slightly little bit more information than what's on the can lovebird jackaloop jackalope brewing company Nashville Tennessee what is lovebird the abundance of strawberries and raspberries married with wheat in each batch of lovebird results in light yet flavorful brew. The fruit adds a tartness and berry aroma as well as slightly pink color while the wheat gives it a velvety taste. Style, strawberry raspberry wheat, stats, 4.4 ABV, 12 IBU. Availability, March through October. Namesake, named after the legendary bird itself, this beer is best drink in rounds of two. All right, there's that. Now, I've got us a pretty clear glass here from Indie Brew Works. 
we're going to pour it in here and see what it looks like. Give it a couple tips just in case there's any floaters in there. Let's see, let's give it a, well, yeah, we'll pour it first. Oh, that little tipping back and forth may have shook it up a little too much. Mm. Trying to let some of them bubbles go away so we can see. So it's not clear, clear. Uh, kind of hazy, a little hazy. I don't see any particles floating around like raspberry or strawberry chunks. Alrighty. Let's give it the old smell of roux. Might be slightly, slightly fruity. Um, not a whole lot of smell wise picking up. So when I think of uh, strawberry and raspberry, I'm thinking maybe kind of uh, soury. Tart, well, it does say tart, so we'll see how tart it actually is. Yeah, not really, really heavy on the smell wise. Maybe we can get the rest of this in here. While we're on the subject, I'm kind of actually running out of room in the uh, man cave in Pablo's Kittens uh, for putting beer cans and beer bottles. I'm having to take out, you know, regular everyday beers such as Miller Lights, Core Lights, normal, normal beers getting those off the shelf and putting these up it may come to a time where I can't really put them up anymore unless I come up with something else all right enough yapping huh <sighs> So we're cooling off in Mississippi. We're about the high of 90s. The last week and this week are about in the high of 90s. Okay. So this is a I'm going to call it a lighter beer. <sighs> but it is slightly tart. But I'm not going to say, you know, you think strawberry, raspberry, kind of think of a sweeter, sweet, sweet beer. You know, almost like an apple, Red's apple, or Smirnoff, or one of those Jack Daniel strawberry. This is not that. It is light, and not. it's slightly bitter, not over hoppy, not over bitter, not IPA-ish. But if you like those beers, the Smirnoffs and the Apple Reds and the, you know what I'm talking about, I still don't think you're really going to like this. Don't think of this as that kind of beer. It still tastes like beer. Which, if you like beer, that's a good thing. Lovebird. Talking about lovebirds. My wife and I are lovebirds. Okay? My lovebird would not like this beer. This is not up her alley. It's not sweet and fruity, etc. So,
if you like white claws and all that, that's probably not going to be up your alley. She doesn't like white claws either. But she does like the angry orchard, something or other, blah, blah, blah. Fruity sweet beers. Like I said, just slightly bitter. So let's give it a review. I'm going to say it's not a bad beer, but it's not my style. I would not buy this again. No uh, disrespect to the company, people who have that taste. But it's once is good enough for me. Okay? So review-wise, I'm going to give this a 7, possibly a 6, just because I'm not digging it. It's not to say other people don't, but it's not my forte. If I get this thing and I see strawberry and raspberry, even though I'm a manly man, I still want to taste strawberry and raspberry just because the can says strawberry and raspberry. So, 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching, and I'll give you a sweep of uh, Project Sin LS swap here. Uh, Hopefully soon we figure out what we're going to do with the transmission so we can proceed with the rest of it. It's been too hot for me to want to work on it, so I haven't been spending any extra money on it. So, maybe now we'll invest some time and funds into it now that it's cooling off. sweep of Project Sin and I may give you a sweep of the Man Cave Pablos so you can see just how much room we're running out of. At least it looks good. That's all that really matters, right? 